Welcome back sports gamers, it's The Natural. One of Madden's biggest appeals lies with its NFL license, which brings an authenticity to it that other games cannot match. From playbooks that are diagrammed just like you see them on Sunday, detailed model stadiums, to the coaches roaming the sidelines, and of course the players themselves. Even though they have worked hard to include more NFL authentic gear and accessories, there are still many things missing. I'm here to give you a detailed breakdown on that, so lock in and let's go. First things first, before I get started, I want to give a special shout out to Helmet Stalker for helping me put this list together. If you care anything about NFL equipment, they're a must follow on Twitter, at Helmet Stalker. Go do so now. Thank you. So we can all appreciate the NFL authenticity of the Madden series, the official NFL equipment being a major element to this as well, of course. However, developers have had a quite hard time and a struggle implementing all the NFL approved gear so far in the Madden series. Several pieces of equipment and various other uniform accessories are currently missing from this year's game. While of course none of this affects the gameplay, but it does keep Madden 18 from visually mirroring what you see on Sunday. Let's take a look at some of the equipment still missing in Madden 18. We'll get started with the helmets. The first few equipment you decide on in Madden 18's uh, when creation in creative mode is the helmet. Madden 18 limits these options by excluding uh, several types of helmets that are available and worn by players in the NFL today. The shut F7 is most significant and visible on the F7 are the tectonic plates that cover the crown and back of the helmet shell. These plates add additional layers of impact and absorption and improve performance against all forces impacted on the helmet and you can tell that there, the specialization with the tectonic plates they have there which makes that helmet stand out. The Shut Air XP Q10. The Varsity Q10 has a new helmet shell that's lightweight and features the all new helmet stabilization system. The helmet stabilization system frames your face and gives secure locked in feel inside the helmet, sets that one apart. The Shut Vengeance Z10, the newest Vengeance model, features a low profile reduced standoff shell and a titanium face guard line. It also is the all new helmet helmet stabilization system and it weighs over three under three pounds. The shut helmets with the blue TPU padding are also not included in the game. The Zenith Epic, it's actually a polycarbonate shell designed for high level impact. Six vents on each side of the helmet create maximum airflow, keeps the head cool during play and miss that one uh, stands it apart there having the vents that you can see there on the helmet. And the SG helmet, SG helmets are made for made of stronger materials like Kevlar and carbon fiber, and also a special foam licensed by NASA because of the high tech construction. SG helmets are half the weight of the average football helmet. As well, last but not least, the precision fit with the black jaw pads. There is so much tech in these helmets and equipment nowadays, it's crazy. From NASA to st stabilization systems and tectonic plates. I mean, wow. That's <laughs> Before I researched it, I didn't realize helmets were was, was so serious now, but they are. Uh, th you can see that those are the ones that are missing from the game still. Let's move on and let's talk about chin straps that attach to the helmets. Um, currently, these chin straps are in the game but they don't give you the option of putting them on the helmet you want to use. So basically, if you have a Zenith helmet, it's tied to just that one chin strap. You can't wear that chin strap with an SG helmet. Like you can in real life, you can switch and change chin straps, of course, with pretty much uh, uh, all sorts of helmets that you would like. But in Madden, they are tied and you don't have the option to switch to chin straps we would like to see. Let's take a look at some of the chin straps that are in the game, but we would like to have options of switching them around. The cloth two-point chin straps, also recognized as the Aaron Rodgers or Green Bay QB style of chin straps. The Adams chin strap, currently it comes equipped on the shots, shut standard in the Air XP. The Sports Star chin strap, currently on the Vengeance and the Vicus Zero One. The Riddle Hard Cup, currently comes on Riddle standard speed and speed flex helmets. And the Soft Club. Currently a one-off option on Riddle Standard for Brady, Rivers, and Goskowski. 
So that covers the chin straps there. Uh, let's take a look at the face mask. Odo Beckham Jr.'s CUS2BDSW's mask. Marcus, Marcus Mariota's CUS2BDSW808 mask. The S2BSKI mask. And the CUS2BDEMSP mask. Hopefully EA is watching this and actually getting this down and know exactly what's missing in the game. We, we're, we're getting detailed down to the, the model number of the equipment there that's missing there. So we make sure we get these in the game. Uh, one major last piece uh, that is missing from Madden 18, and I know it's a whole slew, a whole crowd out there, uh, you guys out there. And I, I know this for a fact because we did a whole video on it. And you know what I'm talking about is the mouth guards or mouthpieces. Both. So it's not just different styles of mouth guards and mouthpieces uh, themselves uh, that are missing from the equipment list, but also uh, neck rolls. They aren't missing from the game, but they aren't custom like uh, we would hope. The neck roll option in creation, uh, creative player only allows you to equip a vintage neck roll with the slider. Either slide it on and off. You can't adjust the look, the height, or the width of your creative player's neck roll, or have it tuck under the, um, the jerseys like how most do in NFL that wear neck rolls. Also, one piece of medical equipment that isn't talked about often that's missing from Madden 18 is the hand clubs. Those are the huge rounded off casts that players such as JJ Watt have worn. And of course, we you know uh, Jason Pierre Paul with his hand. Um, they're also included in Madden 17. So we know EA Sports has the ability to include them. We would like to have those medical pieces um, included in the game as well. So that's just really scratches the surface there. Um, you know, the Madden 18 creative player gives you the option to equip a hand warmer on your player, but this accessory needs to update. You should have the option to equip hand warmers on the front and back in addition to making them larger. Currently, you only have the option to equip, equip a generic hand warmer by using an on and off slider. Um, this year's game is also missing the mid forearm wrist band option. Staying with wide receiver hand and arm accessories, Madden 18 is also missing receiving gloves with the popular Team Palm logos on them. And that will be awesome because that will tie into celebrations, things like that. You know, throwing up the signs with the team logo, that would be pretty cool in the game as well. Lastly, Madden 18 is missing various uniform options that give the game its realistic feeling. Particularly weather condition, uniform options are missing from the game this year. Long sleeve, full sleeves are options that they have, but the cold weather uniforms that were automatically equipped in past Madden games are no longer included. Of course, these aren't always the most noticeable aspects or missing elements from Madden games. You probably don't notice a lot of these pieces of equipment accessories are missing until you actually go into the creative player and realize that the options have been limited uh, compared to how they were in the past. Hope you guys enjoyed our uh, look at all the equipment, accessories, and gear still missing in Madden 18. If there's anything you feel I didn't cover in the video, let me know in the comments below. Also, there are many things uh, that like colored visors and custom equipment that are not NFL approved for games, so they are not included uh, by the dev team. It only can be NFL approved equipment, but it, it would be cool if they can also have uh, maybe practice equipment that even though like real NFL they don't allow color visors but players wear them in practice so maybe it will have the option to have different types of equipment for game different type of equipment for practice that'd be another thing if they get more equipment in the game they give players more options to do these type of things so hopefully you guys like the video uh, again be sure to check out helmet stalker and uh, follow those guys on Twitter uh, be sure to check out our previous videos did a whole series on Madden equipment in our one-on-one -on -one with the equipment guru uh, who does the Madden equipment as well as the Madden ratings. He covered a ton of things and some things that might be coming in future Madden games that aren't in this one. So hopefully uh, he can take a look at this video and see some things that, that we named out specifically that we can get in future Madden games as well. If you did like the video, drop a like and subscribe if you loved it. This is the Natural Sports Gamers Online.com. I'm out equipment and accessories where we discuss the pro bowl helmets face masks uniform customization and more in madden 18 and beyond hope you enjoy recently in my uh, interview with clint oldenburg he made a controversial comment uh, regarding the reason why the pro bowl isn't in the game due to memory limitations community has spoken one of the most requested additions from madden 18 mouthpieces which is definitely one of the key pieces of gear players use to differentiate from one another with their mouthpieces and mouthguards. But why aren't they currently in Madden? 
Now, something like tattoos is a little more tricky with legal issues.